The lead in and lead out feed rate plus the ramping feed rate can now be defined independently of the main cutting feed rate. This means we can now precisely control the entry and exit feed rate of the tool into the material, thus reducing the risk of damage to the tool, reducing the overall uh, wear on the tool and increasing the tool life, and also reducing the risk of damage to the part, especially when cutting brittle materials such as graphite. Let's take a look at an example of setting the lead in and lead out feed rate and the ramp feed rate independently. So on the screen uh, we have a flat machining toolpath which has a ramp down onto the flat surface which we can see in the light blue colour. Now this toolpath does not have any independent ramp feed rate set and if we look at the feed rate form we can see that the cutting feed rate is at 3000 millimeters per minute and the plunging feed rate is at 1000 millimeters per minute. Now let's say for example we would like to set the ramp feed rate at 50 percent of our plunging feed rate. So to set an independent ramp feed rate if we go to the settings for our toolpath and if we recycle the toolpath and expand the feeds and speeds we can see there is a new lead feed rates option. If I select that there are three feed rates we can set independently the ramp lead in, the lead in and the lead out. Now these can be defined either as a percentage of the plunge feed rate for the ramping or a percentage of the cutting feed rate for the lead in and lead out. Or alternatively we can define an explicit value by typing it, it in the highlighted box. So in our case we want to set our ramp moves to 50% of our plunging moves. So our, our plunge is 1000 at the moment so I'm going to set the percentage to 50 and you'll notice the other field updates automatically. So if I calculate that now So now the feed rate for the ramp moves is now set at 50% of the plunging moves. So let's just post process that toolpath so we can see the output. So I'm just going to drop that toolpath into the NC program and then write. So that's now been post processed so we can uh, view that file. Expand the box here. So you can see here we're using Q values to define our different feed rates and our plunge feed rate is 